Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. If you saw the last video, you know this is a follow-up, or part two, or continuation, or what have you, of the last one, where I told you what I was going to have on this video. And that is this. Samyang Bulldog. And you might think this is interesting. Habanero Lime is exactly what that says. And I just got this package a little bit too close to the stove and it melted the corner of the packet. I turned off the heat, moved the pot over, and then I moved this over to the other side of the stove. But it was close to where the heat was, and it kind of just shrunk in right there. And that's why it's all melty looking. But that's what this is. This is Bulldog Habanero Lime. A new variety of Bulldog Bokamine. There's a little Hochi guy with his maraca and his uh, sombrero on. This habanero lime, as you can see, it's all in English. Even the back is all in regular English with the United States, American, North America style nutritional facts on the back. But this was made in South Korea. Um, and the... Uh, Instructions are slightly different. You can see here. I don't know if you can read it. Pause it. Whatever. But you boil it in 350 milliliters of water with the flakes, and then you add the sauce. Uh, you don't remove any of the water from it. So it is kind of soupy, though it's not like a full soup like uh, some other plate things are. Only 350 milliliters, plus after boiling it down, that does reduce it. You add the sauce to it, it kind of thickens it up. So it's not like 100% soup. In the pack, you get this habanero lime sauce. You get this pack of flake. And uh, since it's all in English, I know exactly what's in here. The flakes are carrots, cabbage, and bok choy. And, you know, the Noodles are made of wheat mostly, but the sauce is tomato ketchup, water, sugar, artificial chicken, uh, MSG, onion, habanero, chili pepper, soybean oil, onion, tomato, soy sauce, uh, vinegar, garlic, paprika, black pepper, and the last ingredient, lime flavor. So there you go. It is still got the chicken flavor that you're used to for the Bulldog, but it also has habanero, as well as other chili peppers, and of course, lime. Um, in my bowl, which I will show you here, I've added a few things, but I'm going to taste it before I actually taste all the other things. Um, here is the, the noodle. As you can see, there's not really a soupy liquid in there, though if you tip it over, it could probably pour out a little bit. But as you see, it's the typical round, thicker noodle you're used to for a regular bulldog. Um, it has, you can see, little pieces of carrot. Like that. And some bok choy and cabbage as well. I've added some green onion to it. I've added some cubes of steak that I have left over. Um, Remember my last video, I did the same with the other one. But also another thing that I just made yesterday, some homemade onion rings. Which, uh, they turned out very good. Everyone that I served them to said they were really great. Um, had some extra, so I just threw them on there. Why not? Um, but let's go ahead and try it out. This is the Samyang uh, Habanero Lime Flavor. I'm just going to get some noodles doused well in that sauce. You can see it's still pretty steamy. It's going to be hot temperature. The sauce is really <clears throat> thick and it sticks to the noodles really well. 
So, like I said, even though there's more liquid in here than you're used to, it's not really soupy. Even if I like drag this to the bottom, it's not like a little pool at the bottom where you can only see liquid. And it sticks very well to the noodles. As far as spice level goes, this is actually less spicy than the one I had yesterday, which was the, the jampong. There's a spicy beef, pork, chicken, and seafood stew. Let's see how well the, the steak that I had tastes with the sauce. Hmm. Still good. How about an onion ring? Doused to that habanero lime. Mm. Yep, that tastes good too. <clears throat> so, as far as like habanero and lime go, to me, habaneros, they already have like a citrusy note to them, flavor wise, anyway. So I think it pairs well with the lime. It's not like sour uh, at all. There's no like tart lime flavor to it, but it is citrusy. This is definitely very slurpable. The, uh, the sauce really coats it very well. The noodles being chewy and round, they easily get slurped. I would say on a spice level though, it's relatively on the low side when you consider other bulldogs. Which is weird because he's habanero. I remember when I was growing up, um, habanero to me was the hottest pepper you could get, the hottest pepper around. Uh, there was no like, at least I didn't know of anything like Reaper, Scorpion, those kind of things. They just didn't uh, exist as far as I knew. <clears throat> but uh, habanero, the actual habanero peppers are quite spicy. I just had a delivery, so the doorbell's going off, and I have a dog. Just give it a second. It's all right. Anyway. It's good. Um, it is spicy. It's spicier than, like, typical ramen, for sure. Uh, but, like, as far as bulldog goes, it's probably lower on the, the spectrum. Um, I do feel some tingling on my lips. A little bit of warmth throughout the back of my throat. There's a bit of sweat that I feel on the my forehead area. Like nothing in the back of my neck, which usually gets sweaty after eating something spicy that's increased in spice. Uh, there's no hiccups that I'm feeling coming on at all. Now I will say the the jumpong yesterday I said also was uh, not as spicy as some of the other ones. However, after the video was over, I finished the noodles and there was just the liquid. When I slurped up the liquid, I did have to like slow down a little bit, take a break to finish that broth because that broth really concentrated the spice. Um, the broth was way more liquidy than this, so it didn't like stick to the noodles as well. So a lot of things just hung out in the bottom of the bowl until I was done. Now I still didn't get any hiccups, but I did have like a stomach full of noodles. So usually hiccups come from like the first couple bites of something spicy. If you already have something in your stomach, 
it's harder to really get that those hiccups even if it is spicier but still it was far from the spiciest bulldog that I've had this one I would say it's somewhere between the the light half spicy and the original uh, bulldog 1x <laughs> But it does have that additional citrusy note to it that you get from the habanero and the lime. Now, as my last video also had, this one has a bit of a bonus to it. I have right here the Mountain Dew 2022 Voodoo 4. And this is the full sugar version. And by full sugar, I mean it has... 72 grams of sugar in this bottle, which is 144% of the daily value. So it's not healthy. Speaking of daily value, the habanero almond has 1,580 milligrams of sodium, which is 69% of your daily value. Nice. Let's see if this full sugar one uh, either more solidifies my opinion on what the mystery flavor is or makes me get some doubts and maybe something else instead. First of all, let's give it a smell. I think it smells very similar, although uh, sugarier. Let's give it a taste. The fruitiness of it, I think, pops a little more when it's the, the full sugar version. But I think my opinion still stands. I think what I'm tasting here are pixie sticks. Like a fruity, powdery candy it's tasty also the the tartness of it I think is more developed with the full sugar variety it still has the tartaric acid and the citric acid there is no malic acid which makes me think it's not like something that's like a super sour type of candy, like a warhead or something like that. Um, it's more of like a candy tart that you can get from like a pixie stick, which is why officially, now that I've tasted both versions, the Fat Hipster official guess of what the Mountain Dew Voodoo 2022 fourth edition flavor of mystery is pixie stick. There you go. I also just find it quite tasty, actually. It does taste like you're drinking candy. And you know, all the diabetes that that entails. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Habanero Lime Samyang Bulldog. I think it's good. It gives it a nice citrusy pop to a uh, spicy noodle dish. Still has a good chickeny flavor to it as well. And you got the Pixie Stick Mountain Dew for 2022. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. That way. But either way, subscribe to the channel and watch more of my videos because some people like to watch things that they hate. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.